What is going on YouTube? This is IDCL yet again coming at you with some Saints Row 4 gameplay. And I have some spectacular news for this channel and some really some super relief for me and for everybody who watches my channel. Uh, remember in my last video when I told everybody that I, I caught a strike on my channel. But luckily, luckily I talked to RPM Network and... Uh, they pretty much told me don't worry about it you're still partner you're still good and that shit it was such a huge relief to hear because I thought I was going for good all the stories I didn't heard people and shit who lose who, who get a strike on their channel and just lose their their whole damn partnership completely and then you gotta wait six months for the strike to leave I still gotta wait for the strike to leave to get you know special YouTube features like external annotations and fucking uh, 15 minute videos but it's all good still partnered still in here and what that means for this channel is that this channel is officially open back up for business thank you and uh what i'm gonna do this is make this the main channel again but don't neglect that other channel because that's gonna be the channel where i do like walkthroughs and longer videos and such since this channel does not get you know uh this channel this main channel right here does not get you know 15 minute videos and shit because i don't give a damn about the external annotations as long as I, I I do need those longer videos though, so basically what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna make that channel into a walkthrough slash long gameplay channel, and this channel is still gonna be the main channel where I handle shit like you know the reviews and the the regular commentaries and whatnot. And what that means is uh yeah stay subscribed to this channel because all the content will be coming back here. Those two reviews that I did on I Doc Life the other channel. Those two reviews are going to stay right where they're at, so if you want to check those out, you can check them out. It's the XCOM, uh, the Bureau of XCOM Declassified Review and the Saints Row 4 Review. And, uh, yeah, like I said, right here I'm playing some Saints Row 4. Man, I got to admit, this game is fun as shit. Like, I feel like this game, like, it's going to hold me over until Grand Theft Auto 5. That's for damn sure. And, and probably then some. Like, you know, it's pretty damn good. It's really fun. It's, it throws you right in the middle of a crazy ass story. But like I said, go see the review if you want to know all that shit. I'm not going to sit here and explain the entire game. But I am going to explain what's going on right here. Like I tried to make my dude look like Shaft kind of. I still got to work work on this shit. I'm trying to make him look like Shaft. You know what I'm saying? If y'all know who Shaft is, you need to really look him up. You know, Samuel Jackson, Richard Roundtree played as that nigga. But I try to make them look like Chef. And the gun I'm holding, I, what I like about the guns in this game is the fact that you can change the entire skin on the gun, but it's still like the same gun. I don't know, it's weird. Like, you, everything is pretty much welcome to you already. As you can see, I'm trying to take one of their checkpoints, the fucking alien checkpoints, but they're killing my ass. Like, the more you kill, like, the hard, more hardcore the shit get. Like, they got spaceships and shuttles and shit flying above shooting me down I'm gonna die right here this shit got pretty damn hectic and that was probably the toughest one versus a million army sequence I didn't had so far in this game but yeah man this shit is absolutely fun and if you haven't got it yet I suggest you at least try to rent it or check it out something because like if you're a fan of something if you're a fan of Saints Row you're gonna like this it's not the same as like two and one were my favorite ones out of the entire series but it's definitely something to just pick up play and just go wild on because you pretty much have the world in the palm of your hands as soon as you get the fucking game or get past the first 30 minutes you know that they had a little action sequence at the first 30 minutes which is crazy as shit that action sequence was just retarded and this game is funny as hell it's real funny all sorts of curse and all sorts of motherfuckers bitches all sorts of shit this is no whole bars and I like games that like, you know, that don't try to hold back, you know what I'm saying? Like this, Saints Row is definitely one of those. They just let anything go in this shit. And you can really tell that the developers had fun making this game. As I skirt off. And man, it is so fucking easy to drive in this game. It's crazy. Like all you gotta do is, you know, I was going crazy. I was just doing dumb shit right here. But all you gotta do is just both triggers and then A to drift. That's it. That's it. You accelerate, you brake, and then you drift, and you're good. You shoot out the windows and all that shit. You know, jump in the cars and shit like I'm finna do right here. Just, they still got that crazy-ass car entry that they had in the third one. But yeah, man. Other than that, you know, 
I'm still, I'm still doing what I do. This channel is still open for business. It's still open for every. <laughs> Not open for business, but this channel is still open. This yet again the main channel, and I'm happy to say that RPM is not gonna let me go. And I was wondering, man, because because it got so damn. It was to the point like it was like three days after it happened. Like damn, they still haven't pulled me from the network yet. Shit, I just said I might as well just hit them up and see what's going on. And I did do that. I contacted RPM through Twitter, luckily, and email. But I got my response back from Twitter quicker, much quicker. So I contacted them and I basically told them, yeah, I released some content a little early for XCOM and shit. But, and they gave me a strike on my channel. He said, it's all good. It's just one strike. Just don't do it again. And you're good. You're good. We're not going to get rid of you. And that shit put a big ass smile on my face. And this was late. This was like at 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. shit. I would have made a video right then and there, but I was tired. I was tired as hell. But I'm making a video today, and I'm happy to say that everything is working out for the best. Thank you. And I want to thank everybody who went and subscribed to that other channel. Y'all are some loyal subs. You got me to, like, I think, what am I at? 90 subs or 80 subs within three days, which is pretty fucking awesome. This shit is nice. And I, that lets me know how loyal. I tried to make that jump so bad right there, and I almost had it. But y'all are so damn loyal. I can't thank you enough, and I appreciate everything all the support that other channel is still going to be open so don't unsubscribe to that and if you unsubscribe here to subscribe to that one subscribe to this one again you know i might put a video on that other channel i, I was kind of a dickhead move i just pulled right there but you know it is what it is so i'm gonna let this video play out i just wanted to address that to you guys great news update on what's going on and this is idcl this is saints row 4 and i'm out peace Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more gameplay and video game reviews to come.